Hello, my name is Shalin and in this video, we will be learning about the DGSET NOC application process in India. Let's start this video with what this NOC process is and where it is required. So a diesel generator or a DG set is used as an alternate to regular power source. Prior to its installation for energization, an inspection is performed under the Central Electricity Authority regulations of 2010, under regulations 30 and regulation 43. However, the applicant has to apply online to the department of this NOC in two stages. The first is for the approval of the generating set plan and thereafter to get this diesel generator inspected by submitting a work completion report. Let's see the government mandated criteria for this NOC. So DG sets are categorized based on the power output of their engine displacements that is below 99 cc between 99 to 225 cc and between 225 to 800 cc. These categories have been used for engine classification in the environment protection rules. Apart from this, two engine categories are also defined. That is compression ignition engines or CI engines and positive ignition engines or PI engines. The emissions and noise limits of these engine types have been defined in the latest amendment to these rules. Apart from diesel engines, the rules also covers the following engine types. Engines based on dedicated alternate fuels, engines based on biofuels, and engines based on dual fuels. Now, to ensure that your emission levels are under the prescribed limits, let's understand the air emission and the noise emission criteria. The air emission limits specifies the permitted pollutant levels in the air emission that includes pollutants like oxides of nitrogen, non-methane hydrocarbons, carbon monoxides, particulate matter and reactive hydrocarbons. The concentration limits for these pollutants have been specified for all engines and fuel types accordingly. Also, the noise limits for DG sets have been provided under the rules according to the power output. The permissible sound pressure levels for DG sets with a capacity up to 800 kilowatt is 75 decibels from the enclosure surface. Therefore, DG sets must be provided with integral acoustic enclosure at the stages of manufacturing. They must be designed to have a minimum of 25 weighted decibel insertion loss. Let's see the requirements in the DG set NOC application process. So the applicant will require to seek the approval of the line diagram for the DG set. Application for the approval along with relevant documents must be made to the office of the electrical inspector. The application and the line diagram will be scrutinized. A single line diagram of electrical installation must be submitted showing all details from the starting point to the end point. Site plan showing the location of the transformer, generator, electrical rooms, panels, monitors, etc. The approval fee must be paid separate from the inspection fee. The applicant will also require to include a layout plan. The layout of the installation must show the location of all the equipments, location of switchboards and distribution boards, elevation in sections showing overhead clearance, vertical, horizontal and sectional clearances with respect to equipment and ground must be included. After the approval of the line diagram, the installation can be carried out. After successfully completing the installation, a work completion report has to be filed in the prescribed format. Through this, the owner of the DG set has to submit an undertaking that the DG set is ready for inspection to the electrical inspector. During the inspection, if the inspecting officer finds that the electrical installation conforms with the Central Electricity Authority regulations of 2010, necessary approvals will be issued. Let's now see what are the documents required for this NOC. So, application for DG set installation must be submitted to the electrical inspectorate with the relevant documents and drawings along with the details listed below. Photocopy of sets of blueprint drawing incorporating the items listed, copy of work award letter, requisition letter, certificate from district industry center, certificate copy of occupancy certificate, electrical inspector charging permission, copy of permission issued by the SPCB or the PCC for the operation of the DG set, copy of last paid electricity bill, purchase invoice of the generating plant, rent agreement, single line electrical diagram. Finally, let's look at the advantages of adopting a DG set. 
So DigiSet installation has a lower installation cost and provides higher efficiency compared to other emergency power supply forms. It also has a short delivery and installation period and is suitable for activities like mining, telecommunication and data centers and critical sectors like healthcare, oil and gas, manufacturing and construction. So whether you need this NOC for installation of the DG set or any other type of gen set, the overall pollution NOC inspection and post compliances can be a challenging task due to different agencies involved in the entire process. Enterclimate can assist you with the application process and the legalities of this NOC. Enterclimate has a pan-India network of experts who can help you with the applicable licenses and approval. So with this we conclude today's video. I hope you found this information helpful. Subscribe to our channel and visit our website for more details. Thank you.